today we're going to look at how to convert an HDMI high definition video source to a single coax cable and split it to multiple monitors using an HDMI RF modulator. So this is my ATSC modulator. It's a the Thor broadcast modulator. So as you can see, it just uh, lights up the channel that it's broadcasting on, which would be 12. Uh, it says C0, uh, 12.1. So that's actually putting out at ATSC. So it's like channel 12.1. I had it up on UHF, but just decided I go between channel 11 and 16 a lot. So I thought I would just put it between the channels that I watch a lot. So that I can have them all close together. You can really put them, program them to be wherever you want. You can even change it manually now that I have it set up here. But I'm just going to leave it on 12 because that's where I've scanned all my TVs in to pick this up. So, so you can see the petite. Feels a little bit warm. So I have the HDMI port in. A network cable it has like the ground wire, the power cable. The network cable, network cable really doesn't do anything other than just configure the system. I just have the HDMI in. I can get another HDMI cable and just actually just have it out to the TV. I actually just run it out to into the antenna system. And so on my TV where the satellite receiver is, I just go to channel 12 to watch. Basically this is on the other end of where the antenna is. So the antenna is on the other side of the house. So I just have this sending from the TV all the way to uh, basically throughout all the uh, through the house just plug it in, in into the line that would be receiving uh, the antenna and it goes down to the splitter down to uh, where the basement is and just using a regular splitter it splits it all and distributes the signal that way so it actually goes two ways so you have signal from the antenna coming in and you have this going back out you got a TV hanging on the wall here in the kitchen and so I got the modulator going and also I got uh, let's zoom in here. So I got my channel 11.1. .1. Now you can actually name it whatever you want for it to appear and it's just sending a signal out in 10, uh, 1080i. And then I just go to PBS, which is channel 16. Same program's on right now actually. I'm just using my over the air digital to analog uh, receiver right here. It's a third bra, uh, I think that's a I think that's like an allure tech box you just get those at walmart so let's show you over here on the tv so there's the thor broadcast so it will send basically all my channels are digital anyway but i still like watching programs on my standard definition tv so i'm able to send it downstairs here and watch the satellite receiver or anything really any source that you were to put in the thor broadcast device and set it through coax cable. So you can get on multiple TVs, even the way I have it set here with this old analog TV, which I still like to have around, and just use digital to analog converters. You can get these over at, you can get them on eBay and places like that. Another thing you can get is one of these Thor Universal HDMI digital modulators. Now this is more of a high-end, probably more for more of a professional uh, use, because this has four channels instead of just one. But all the channels are not are not stacked, uh, like how you get with a lot of, a lot of uh, over-the-air channels, where you have like say uh, 43.1, 2, 3, and 4. It actually makes its own channel, so each, each source is its own RF channel. So there's about so actually there's like four modulators in here. You can go ATSC, you can go QAM. There's a whole list of uh, digital codecs you can. Now this is an older one, so it does not do. Uh, people ask. Does it do ATSC3? No, it's an older one, so it doesn't do ATSC3. Just turn around here so you can see the other end. So as you can see, it has uh, four HDMI ports. It's rack mountable. There's an on-off switch here. And it just has your RF in and out. So if you're like, for example, if you're stacking one of these, so say you have like, you want to basically make your own cable system and you have a lot of money. I think these things are uh, under $2,000. Stack and make your own cable system. You can run, uh, get a, one of those racks, uh, stack all these, and then run all your video sources in there. Whatever you want, pretty much with an HDMI output. You can output a computer with a video uh, playing a source all the time and control it remotely. That's one thing I've done in the past. 
or you can uh, just use a satellite receiver even maybe a cable box and you just plug it in there and send a channel to a different room that might not have a cable box or as far as the cable can go. I'll have a link in the description of this video where you can find out more information about this stuff. And uh, another modulator is this V Coax Mini Mod 2. It has its pros and cons to this one where right out of the box the firmware uh, didn't allow me to work it didn't work on all my TVs in the house so that's uh, why I'm currently not using this product. Uh, what this will do is uh, the nice thing with this thing is it has the uh, it has the on-screen display, so you can uh, you don't have to go through a web interface. And this has uh, your RF in and your RF out. And the the vent is there in the back, so that was a problem I had with it, the keeping this thing cool, just like trying to set it and rack it somewhere. And the cable will pull this thing down like that when you have these coaxial cables. So I was trying to figure a way to leave it so that I could leave it on and also kind of have it in that uh, glass cabinet where I can see that it's on air. Full 1080p HD. I'll have a link to this in the description too. Just something cool. I mean you can select whatever channel you want for this. So you, the only thing with this I think you do have to go by the frequency so you just gotta Google search what channel each frequency is on for ATSC. And they've cleared up a whole whack of them in the, in the upper <laughs> part. So if you're just using it for your own private cable system, it'll work for that. So this device is my main workhorse for sending video, because really, I just really need one channel, and it's really from one, uh, one of my satellite receivers that I'd like to be able to have a, avail have a channel available. And the TV I have is a smart TV, so the kids are always wanting to watch the smart TV. For the price range, if you want to get into getting an ATSC modulator, and the reason why I recommend this is I like the way it sits in the cabinet the way I got it. It has a, uh, some racking screws, so if you want to put it on a rack uh, with a, where the screws are, you can do that. Uh, I just set it up once, and I was happy with it. Uh, you can change the channel, but as I say, I just leave it on the same channel because I decided channel 12 works for me because I want to be able to uh, have it between my two main channels that I kind of flip between, and then I have this thing. But yeah, these things are pricey. Uh, you're looking at about under $500 for one of these things. Now I use mine every day, so that's a nice thing. And another thing too is uh, if someone's probably gonna wonder about leakage. So I have hooked up a pair of rabbit ears just to see, oh, is this thing leaking? You know, can I? Can my neighbors watch what I'm watching? But it's not leaking in my system, so I'm not sending an RF outside my house. It's basically staying within the cables uh, all the way throughout the house. So that was a good thing, because it also makes the signal quality. I'm going to all the different TVs in my head house with my TV antenna work better that way. Please check out freesatellitetv.net and also check out the new shop where you can order free satellite TV, LMBs, receivers, and dishes, all sorts of things for your free to air needs over at the freesatellitetv.net shop. All right, so if you wanna reach out to others about free to air satellite, check out the free to air satellite TV North American channels, plus over the air plus streaming group on Facebook. There's also a group like this on Minds and Gab as well that I just recently started. There's no one on it right now, but if you want to get on that, I got about 439 members here on Facebook and we discuss uh, free to air satellite stuff. Uh, we help new people who are getting into the hobby to get things going. Uh, we talk about C-band, we talk about KU-band, we just uh, know dark side of satellite talk is what we ask to uh, avoid and also when you do come and join, I'll ask two questions. Are you in North America? Because there is several satellite groups, but there's only a handful that really talk about North American satellite. And you can find me over here at YouTube, at my main channel. Please remember to click the bell when you subscribe. That will help you get the latest notifications. Hey, I'd like to reach 100,000 subscribers. You click on the video tab and there is where you'll find all my videos that might be harder to find.